Hello. Uh, my name is Marie Merci Shimge, and I would like to start by telling you my story as a young, aggressive girl growing up in Rwanda. So the first time I heard the term aggressive woman, I was about seven years old. At a very young age, I would ask my parents to go play, and sometimes they would say no, of course, their parents, right? But I would always bug them with a million questions until they gave me a reason why not. I was not one of those kids who would just back away after being told because I said so. Well, I was an annoying and aggressive child, but I wasn't aggressive yet. Well, not unless I was about grade three and had been knocking on my father's door asking for school fees. For a week, his response was always, go away, I don't have the money. But I needed to get a solid response to give to my teacher who every morning looked at me as if I was stealing. So one morning, I went and stood right in front of my father who by then was getting ready for work looked him straight in the eyes and said, I want the money for school fees, and if you don't have the money, I need you to tell me when you can get it to me. So just as I had looked him straight in the eyes, he looked back with a somewhat disappointed and angry face and said to me as he left the room, a Kinyaranda phrase that translates to, you're such an aggressive girl. Of course, this was not a compliment, and by then it was very insulting and belittling. But of course, later I ran after him to get the solid response I needed. So since then, I have lived up, I have lived up to the aggressive girl my label my father had branded me with. You see, I was deviant from the normal femininity norms you are raised and born with. In Rwanda, girls are raised to be overly sweet, docile, and in no way raise their voice to a man or an elder. And, look, and not looking someone straight in their eyes like I did to my father is considered to be very well disciplined. So whenever I stood up for myself, like to my father, I was called annoying and aggressive. Well, as an aggressive girl, at least according to my father, I did not care whatever people thought of my frankness, as long as they listened and acted. I was called aggressive because I could not keep my mouth shut, which I was supposed to do as a girl. I was called ag aggressive because I could not put on a masquerade to hide that girl that would always stand up and fight for what she wanted. The reality is this whole struggle I went through is not just my story. In my village, many parents still send their sons to school while their, girl, their girls still remain at home doing chores. Unlike me who pressured my father, some of these girls accept their fate as girls and miss the opportunity to discover the great people they could have been in the future through an education. In the same way, the already feminized mothers don't fight for a chance for their daughters to be different. Rather, they pass on this masquerade they have been putting on for years. The same masquerade that denied them an education and landed them into early marriages in the first place. The same masquerade that they keep on every day when they're beaten up by their husband, but they still wake up every morning, do home chores, and fight so hard to get dinners for their families. Well, I get the fact that we have a culture, but what if that same culture makes us slaves of a masquerade we must create to fit in the normal boundaries of femininity as seen by my village? What if that same culture discourages us from facing our true selves? Don't we at least deserve a chance to discover our true potential instead of what is perceived of us? I mean, what if every mother started being aggressive and fought for her rights for a life? 
And what if those girls who missed school decided that it was enough and they wanted an education? And what if every mother taught their children to stand up and fight for themselves instead of passing on the masquerade? You see, when, when we put on this masquerade, we suppress our feelings and our voices, that's our true selves. We fail to let the world know the great people we are and how we can contribute. And it is this masquerade that has made many women uneducated and many facing unending violence. It has made, it has made women just numbers without a voice. It has stolen from women and it has stolen from Africa. And I must say that women really deserve the right to be aggressive if that means standing up for ourselves. They deserve to define the femininity that suits them. Just imagine great things that would blossom if women would remove this masquerade raise their voices so that policies could be made to include these voices. Imagine an Africa where women would get an education and be, and be proud to be called aggressive because it is actually a compliment. So I urge every woman, either here or at home, every woman to be the aggressive my father labeled me and fight for what is rightfully theirs because only then will women leave the masquerade and be fully empowered to make Africa great. Thank you.